When you find the lace, you let me know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this fresh, glowy makeup look. I think it looks bomb. Like this is like my go-to look. So if you want to see how I got this look, first of all, you need to go ahead and subscribe. And you need to like this video and so keep watching. Today I'm going to just do something real chill. I just feel like doing my makeup and like taking a picture because that's what my days consist of. I literally like before, I didn't dread doing tutorials. But my life was just so busy that I literally had to squeeze it in. So now I just be like, what am I going to film today? So, yeah. Um, I want to do like a fresh glowy look because that's how I'm feeling. My last makeup tutorial was very bright, very colorful. So I want to do something nice and, you know, neutral. So I have my buns in. I love, y'all, I freaking love this hairstyle. I love this wig. I love it. Like, it literally, like, what lace? When you find the lace, you let me know. Let me know, okay? Just I'm gonna do my brows and let you look for it and I'll be back. All right guys, so my brows are done. Did you find the lace? Because I'm still looking. But um, I hope my lighting isn't tripping you guys out today. It's Easter, it's gloomy. Happy Easter, happy resurrection day, happy whatever you celebrate. And my brows have actually been like looking really good. Like my brows look so bomb. This is my outfit for today. This is my Easter fit, okay? You wanna see it? Let me show you guys. This is my little Easter fit, you know, this little pink jogging suit situation. You know what's so funny? Pink is like not my favorite color, but I just always buy pink stuff because like pink is girly, so like. I'm gonna get into this look, which is not really a look, it's just, you know, me wanting to be my face, but why not do it on camera, right? Right. I'm actually gonna use my Ole Hankerson um, Banana Brightening Eye Cream because my eyes, let me tell you guys, I don't sleep. I don't know what sleep is anymore. And sorry if it's loud in the background. Everybody's home, so what do you want me to do? <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't been getting any sleep and I feel like my bags have been like on a whole nother level. Like disrespectful kind of level. Bag, like, I wanna make sure that it doesn't look cakey. I want it to be smooth. So when I use the eye cream, it just makes everything just glide and look a lot better. So next I'm going to be going in with my Nivea Soft um, Moisturizer and this isn't like my go-to moisturizer but I do like it under makeup because it does hydrate my face but it doesn't like feel super heavy or anything like that so I haven't done any skincare today so that's why I'm doing all this on camera. I literally just got out the shower and my face was dry as heck so I'm showing y'all what I use. So today I want a super glowy, luminous look. So I'm gonna be going in with my NARS Super Radiant Booster. Again, I think this is discontinued. I believe they repackaged and reformulated what this would be, but it's basically a illuminator by NARS. Super illuminating, you guys. So I shouldn't have even used this much. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really like this stuff. When I wear it, my makeup just looks so good and why did i put it on oh my god i put too much on you guys don't put that much on i like this illuminator because i noticed with other illuminators that i've tried in the past they tend to dry down and just mess up my makeup and i really 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 don't like that and i'm only rubbing that in because i did too much i don't know why i put that much like you don't you don't need that you don't need this much but it's okay and do you guys see how like luminous my face looks? It just looks really good. I did go overboard on that, but my bad, my bad. Y'all get the point. You've seen me use this product before. It just has been a while, so bear with me. So I decided today that I want to use my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation because like I really like this stuff and it's affordable. It's more affordable than my NARS. I would either use this or my NARS for this kind of look, but I feel like this one it's a little bit more on the glowy side, so that's what we're gonna use today. I'm using my B. Taylor Beauty Sponge with that because I only like this foundation with the sponge. I don't like it with um, I don't like it with the brush because it is a thinner consistency. It tends to get very streaky. So personally, I like to use this with the sponge. So 
that's just my tip with this. This is how the foundation looks. You guys see, you can see a little bit of pigmentation, like hyperpigmentation peeking through. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal because we still have to add concealer, still have to add powder. So I try not to go so ham with my foundation these days because there are you are layering products and there's other stuff that you're using. So you don't want to complete the look and then end up with a super cakey face. So today I'm gonna go in with my Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade Dark and it's a 180N. It's very close to my skin tone, like literally. I know I always say that, but this one is. It has a little bit of a red undertone, so it more so is actually gonna con conceal and correct my under eyes. And it's a decent coverage. It's gonna cover what I need, but it's not like super full coverage so i really do like this concealer i like it on my lighter days and you know we're trying to get that fresh glowy look today so this is going to be perfect so i like to do it in the center of my face and on my forehead just to cover up a little bit of, a little bit more of that pigmentation and around my mouth area and i just decided to do this tutorial today because i feel like around spring and summertime is when a lot of people gravitate more towards glowy looks, which is crazy to me. Tell me what you think. Do you think that you should do glowy looks in the spring summer months or in the winter months? Personally, I feel like matte makeup in the winter is an absolute no. I feel like glowy makeup makes more sense. I mean, there's no rules to it, but I just noticed like with makeup trending, this is just how typically it works. But, um, I think glowy makeup makes more sense in the winter time because your skin is typically drier for most people. And then in the winter, I mean in the summer, you're sweating more, so why would you not want a more matte face to like lock everything in? But this is just how, you know, makeup trends go. They promote glowy highlighted skin in the summer and matte stuff in the winter. I just do whatever my skin <laughs> my skin tells me to do. And next I'm gonna go in with my Milani concealer in the shade Warm Tan. I really love this concealer, like I've said before. It is a nice coverage and it's just so creamy. It just does everything that I need it to do. If you haven't gotten this yet, you need to go ahead and cop because I'm not understanding why you haven't gotten this yet. So I'm gonna let that sit because the longer you let your concealer sit, the more coverage you'll have and the more control you'll have over the product. It won't spread so much when you're blending it. It's gonna like pretty much stay where you've applied it. And I really want my actual under the eye to be bright, not this whole area, you know? If you feel like it's too harsh, you can take your sponge and just kind of diffuse that a little bit. And I've been using my e.l.f. Um, camo sponge. This sponge is really good. If you haven't tried it, try it out. If the Real Technique sponge is not this soft. The um, Sonia Kashuk is not this soft anymore. Like, I don't know what Sonia Kashuk has been going on with, but it's so trash and it's just so irritating. Cause it used to really be a good sponge, but when I've been buying them lately, they've just been, they've just been trash. I hear my mama on the phone. She's in the kitchen, she's making Easter dinner, she's making meat oxtail, she's making, what else is she making? She made fried fish, and then she made my sister some kind of shrimp dish. My sister like freaking loves shrimp. So she's just making food for everybody. It's not really like an Easter dinner, it's just what everybody wants. And she's making something else too, but I don't know. But my mama is the goat. And I'm just gonna take the end of the sponge and Blend that out so that it doesn't look like that. The face is coming together, y'all. This look, I don't want to over powder because if I powder too much, 
it's gonna just defeat the purpose of all the skin prep all this nice blending like this looks amazing like this looks really good so I'm gonna use my elf um blah, 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 what can I think my elf halo glow setting powder and I love this because like it just melts into the skin it doesn't give you a powdery look it sets your face with giving you like this glowy finish. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna be using the sponge with it, you know. I should have probably used the concealer today, huh? But I didn't feel like it. I'm just gonna take that and press that in like I always do. Do you guys see how that looks? It set the face without altering everything that I've done. It literally looks so skin-like. I know I love my like super set under eyes and like brighten, but sometimes it's okay to switch up your makeup looks. That's why I be telling y'all, y'all be getting so mad about how I do my makeup in videos, but there's so many ways to do makeup and you can do what you want to do. You can do what works for you. There's always a different way to do your makeup. Everybody has their preference. There's always different looks that I achieve. The way I do my makeup is typically for pictures. You know, like I do extra, I do more of a full, full glam and I use heavier products because I know I'm gonna take a picture and I want my face to be sitting. But that's not how I do my makeup every time. So it's like, y'all be getting so butthurt about how I do my makeup, but like relax. Relax. Relaxes. It's not that easy. <laughs> and next, I'm gonna use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I use it all the time, but this is a um, like a mineralized finish kind of powder, so it's really soft. It's gonna set my face without giving me that super powdery look, and it does have a little bit of coverage, so you can even see the difference between this side and this side. Like it just looks so much softer when you use your powder. So just go ahead and press that in. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. The only powder brush that I've been using is the BH Cosmetics and it came in a set. So the marble set and this is metallic. I don't know the name of this, but um, yeah, just use a big fluffy brush and press it in. Today I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy only because it is the darker one. You guys know I normally use Coco Naughty, but I really wanna look super bronzed so I'm just gonna go in with one today and I'm not trying to use, I mean, I know I'm still using a lot of product, but I'm not trying to use, ooh, this is very red. <laughs> use a lot of stuff. It's looking very red on camera, but it looks very warm in person. That's why I was adding so much, but whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I am gonna use Coco Naughty on my nose because the Mocha Mommy is just entirely too red for this area, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna have to make some shake. And I like to pull my nose contour into my brow because it makes my brow look a lot softer and everything look connected. And I know my bronzer is probably scaring you guys, but just give me like a few seconds and I promise we gonna get it together. And I'm gonna take this brush with no extra product and just kind of go over that bronzer just to tone it down a little bit. And you see that already? It just kind of toned it down because I was a bit old you like, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm just gonna take that same halo powder and sculpt out my cheeks or carve out my cheeks because I have a round face. So I still wanna be snatchy on her. Do we still say that? Like Bobbyana, Snatchyana. What was the original song? Oh, Tatiana. <laughs> and I'm gonna snatch the sides of my nose. The Cover FX blush in the shade Spice Cinnamon. I'm gonna go into both of the shades, the matte for a little pigment and the glow just to tie in with the whole theme of this look and just kind of sweep that on the apples on my cheeks and sweep back. These are really pigmented, so. You know, use the light hand or a heavy hand, whatever you like to do. I like blush, so it ain't nothing but a word. So I'm gonna take Mocha Mommy with just a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply that all over my eyes because when I do looks like this, I typically be in a rush. Not that I'm in a rush today, but 
this just kind of brings my look up a notch without me having to do a lot and i know i literally can't mess this up so i'm just taking the deepest bronzer that i have and running that through my eyelid through my crease and on my eyelids you want to make sure you're really blending this out nicely because you don't want it to look too like done you don't want it to look like you got eyeshadow on you just want your eyes to look warm and just kind of complement and merge with the rest of your face go ahead and dust away all this extra stuff you see how it dusts away so effortless effortlessly like there's no little cast it didn't cling to the skin but it did what it had to do i almost forgot about highlight because like, i don't really i'm gonna go with my laura mercier translucent loose setting powder in the glow formula and this is in medium deep so this is not a setting powder it's just like a glowy powder and do you guys see you guys probably don't even see what's in there there's there's literally a crumb of powder in there and i'm just gonna start from the apples of my cheeks and like gently sweep it back because i don't like highlighting like this anymore i just think it looks very uh, like you see that it just looks like i'm literally glowing from within so i'm gonna do the same to the other side and i just like to focus that really on my cheeks a little bit on my nose but you guys know i still like to highlight my nose but i don't want to go overboard with this product and it wouldn't be me if i didn't use my morphe luminous setting spray i love this stuff so much i'm just going to spray this all over and i'm going to apply some mascara on the top and bottom some lashes and i will be back so guys, I put on some lashes. I put on my high maintenance lashes in the style high maintenance. They are a little bit more dramatic. You don't need lashes with this look. You can just do mascara or you can do a lighter lash. This is a perfect look if you have lash extensions because you're not gonna be having too much going on in your eyes. But I just felt like doing an extra lash today. And I'm actually gonna take a matte color because I can't help myself. I'm gonna take just a matte shade and put that in my inner corner because I just really like my eyes to be open right there like for some reason it makes my eyes look more sultry when i put a matte in my inner corner i don't like shimmers i like matte you can put a shimmer but i personally like mattes i'm so mad you guys i bought like four mac lip glosses i bought like dazzle glasses i bought some um lip glasses like the um like see-through oyster girl what was the other one like bomb colors like just those like clear kind of, and I can't find them. I don't know where they are, have no idea. And that's the kind of lip that I like with this look is more of like a clear, milky kind of glossy look. So I'm gonna wipe my lips off. I'm gonna use my lip liner in the shade BFF3 by ColourPop because I wanna line my lips, but I don't wanna like, I still want that clear look, but I need to define my lips a little. So I'm just gonna do that. with my B Taylor Beauty lip gloss in the shade it's sheer and I really like these lip glosses but just enough doesn't come out on the applicator so I've been doing this for a long time but they're really nice they don't settle into your lips or anything like that and I'm gonna take my Fenty gloss balm in the shade glass slipper nice little clear gloss and I'm actually gonna put on my finger because I don't want to mess this up like I don't want this to be brown or pink in a few days so okay so I'm gonna put this on my finger and a lot of people are saying how this is like super yeah this isn't like the original formula it's definitely a lot stickier and I heard it like leaks so I'm gonna make sure I just keep that on my vanity and I'm just gonna use my finger and apply that on top Ooh, yes ma'am. Ain't nothing like a fancy gloss though. That's the kind of look that I wanted to go for today. So I just wanted to put on some earrings because I felt like it made the look more glam because I'm keeping on my sweatsuit. Like honestly, I'm not even gonna flex. I'm keeping this on. Everything's from Fashion Nova, my earrings, the 
sweatsuit whatever you want to call it but yeah but anyways this pretty much completes the look you guys i hope you guys enjoy this nice glowy fresh look this is like one of my go-to looks um because it's easy it's quick it goes with everything and it'll never steer you wrong like this look never steers me wrong even when i put on too much product by accident it doesn't mess up so don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video